Hey everyone, Mano back here with another Destiny 2 strategy guide, and what you're seeing on the right hand side of your screen with all of the laurels dropping is accurate. This is the infinite laurel farming guide. This is the fastest farm for Guardian games. Also, it will work for strikes and destinations for different triumphs that you need to complete to get the air apparent machine gun, also known as Skymaster's Girth. We're gonna walk through this entire video and show you how to get it done. What you'll need to do is grab a buddy or two and head to the Dreaming City, which is part of the Forsaken campaign, and you'll need to gain access to one of the secret Ascendant Challenge missions. If you don't know what those are, I post videos on those every week, um, which are one of the few remaining guides that actually exist on on YouTube. The reason why this exploit, or glitch some might people call it, um, works is because of the fact that this Ascendant Challenge Forfeit Shrine gives you the potential to get infinite super, melee, and grenade ability. What you need to do to access the Ascendant Challenge is to use a Tincture of Queen's Foil to find the secret locations. This week it is in the Gardens of Isila area. I'm going to show you on map in just a second where that location is. You're going to drop into the Davillion Mists in the Dreaming City and follow the path that I'm showing you right here. Once you've popped your Tincture of Queen's Foil, if you look at the left hand side of your screen, you can see the word Ascendance. That means that you can see the secrets inside of the Dreaming City as well as the portal for this week's Ascendant challenge. What you're going to do is find the three balls that are located with these symbols around the edges of the map and deposit them in the center. Once you deposit all three of the arc charges in the middle, it will make a pool of light that will give you infinite super melee and grenade abilities, plus also give you infinite life. What will then happen is three hive knights are going to chase you. You need to kill only two of them, because what you're going to do is you are going to trap the third hive knight on the platform that I am standing. You can see I'm on on this little ledge next to this ramp. I'll give you a little bit of a better view of the ramp itself. It's going to be um, one of the highest areas in this Ascendant Challenge. It will have a bunch of flowers on it. There will be a tree at the very base of it, plus a tree at the very top. You need to lure the actual knight over there. You can see that my teammates basically lured him in when he teleported, and he just teleported over to that area, and he is now stuck. He cannot move anymore. Another way that you may have to do it is if the knight is up on the ramp, trying to slam you and he doesn't teleport you may need to jump up and down um, onto the ramp itself and fall down back on the ledge to get him to smash you with your axe he won't do a ton of damage as long as you're not super low light level but it will cause his body to fall down so keep jumping up and down to try and tease him to trap him down here and eventually he will fall down and he will get stuck in this area. One of those two ways can do it. You can either have your entire team kind of get stuck there. You can see he's on the ramp now. We teased him over, and now, with that taking care of him being trapped, you can go nuts, and you will get infinite super grenade and melee energy. This is just a blast, because while the knight is stuck there, there are infinite Taken Thrall will be attacking you constantly. Now, the knight will teleport, but it will always be forced back to the ledge if you do it right. He'll disappear, reappear back on that spot, and he'll just act sad while we're beating up on all of his buddies. Now, to farm this correctly, I would take advantage of the supers that give you double laurels. The Crayon Eating Titans, your arc light attack will work very well on your supers. Code of the Missile will not work. Any of the Sentinel Titans, all of the shield bashes will work, but the throws of the shield will not work. Hunters, all your Arc Strider and Spectral Blades will work, and the glue sniffing warlocks, you get nothing, unfortunately, so you need to get to work. This farming technique will still work, but you do not get double laurels. So, I find that the most effective way to do this is to grab multiple of the same character. You can see here we have three hunters that are just Arc Striding constantly, and we did this in minutes. We farmed this really well, and what's cool about this is that this works not only on destinations in patrol, but this also works for the strike laurels that you need. You need 500 laurels for strikes and 1,000 for destinations. I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can get that taken care of. What you're going to do is you're going to load into the Dreaming City. Make sure that you have three people in a fire team and load into the basic corrupted strike in the Dreaming City. As soon as you are there, what you're going to do is travel over to the area in the Gardens of the Sela. Now, you want to do this as a team of three so that there's no blueberry that's going to come in and push forward through the strike. You want to do this with at least two other friends. You can see here I'm helping out a couple people as they're loading in. 
As soon as everyone is loaded in, we'll head back over to the gardens of Asila and rinse and repeat. Now, a quick note on this is that you will not get double of the laurels. You either have to choose whether it's going to be a destination laurel or if it's going to be a strike laurel because you can only get the strike ones when you're in the corrupted strike. Rinse and repeat that whole process again and you'll be good. Now, the other reason to bring a friend or two is if you die, it doesn't reset the ascendant challenge. All you have to do is basically hop back into the portal and continue to farm. So that's another really smart reason to bring a friend. You can see here on screen here, I'm gonna die. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the spot where the Ascendant Challenge is and we'll just hop back in the portal because the other two friends are in there still farming. Now I'm going to show you the progress that we made. I basically had no laurels when I started this entire process, um, but I wanted to see how well the progress worked. Um, we're going to go ahead and show you a little bit of the bounties that you can get taken care of almost instantly by doing this. Um, also in the triumphs, we're going to go ahead and show you the great deeds is the main piece that you want to get to as well as renown. You can see here, I started with nearly probably like 20% and I was able to get this done very quickly. We'll go ahead and show you getting renown done. Basically, you just sit here and you just continue to farm. There's no negative consequences of this. Again, I would recommend to get a fire team of three if you're going to do this inside of a strike. You can just go ahead and see that I just got Renown done. Um, we'll move over to Great Deeds. You can see I'm already done with my destinations. I had more than I needed. And then we'll move back over to the uh, Corrupted Strike. We'll show you how many I've gotten from that. You can see that it's the Corrupted because of the uh, note on the top left side of my screen where it says the Corrupted there. We'll go ahead and access the screen, show you all of the things and triumphs that I've gotten done. You can see the Great, great Deeds. All I need to do now is my forges and I've got that completed. So this is the fastest way to get access to the heir apparent gun and get the things taken care of for Guardian Games. Again, you have to do this by the end of this week. So if you try to do this after reset on Tuesday, April 28th, 2020, this will no longer work because the Ascendant Challenge will change. If you're wondering where that Ascendant Challenge is, I always do Ascendant Challenge video guides as well as other guides like that if you're interested and check it out you can see i'm starting to get some of my gold medals on screen here and you could just do this all day i've also found that you can invite other friends to come in as long as you're on patrol if you do it through the strike you might get a blueberry to come in right away um, so if you're going to have someone change a character or go to something else like that i would hurry or have them hustle but again i think that the best way to run it is to bring three of the same class it works really really well so folks that's everything you need to know to get all of your laurels taken care of in minutes. The only thing you really can't necessarily do is crucible and forges, but you can get everything else taken care of for your laurels again in minutes. Uh, if you did like something in this video, feel free to share if you did like it. A positive rating is greatly appreciated. Hit that subscribe button for more Destiny 2 content. If you are interested in getting some live help, maybe you need Whisper of the Worm, maybe you need Zero Hour taken care of since they've buffed it back up to where it needs to be. I do tons of live streams where I help people out in getting those things. We also run raids. We have a really active active discord community and all of that is tied to my twitch stream twitch.tv slash manodestra 777 the link for the discord is down in the description box below we do youtube streams as well so if you're someone who doesn't have access to twitch we will do some youtube streams as well but we'd love to see you probably be part of the community feel free to share this video for anyone who's struggling a little bit to find time to get the guardian games and everything taken care of again i really hope you enjoyed the video good hunting guardians i'll see you next time in the universe of destiny